Today is Sunday, September 8th. Right now it's 9.28. And it was at the beginning of last week on Monday, September 2nd, that Benny Hinn made the uh, big video where he said, I'm sick of all this prosperity. It's gone too far. He said that the seed faith teaching has been hurting people because they would send in all this money and then they wouldn't get what they thought they were going to get. And he knew it was wrong. And it was time to say something, and he couldn't say anything for a number of reasons. Basically, he didn't want to hurt his friends. The timing wasn't right. Everybody got all excited about the video. And then um, a couple of days later, I made a video. A lot of other people made videos, and they showed that on Benny Hinn's own channel, he was still teaching this stuff. He was still releasing videos. Even after that video... Two days later, he released a video that was clearly teaching the Seed Faith Doctrine. Well, here it is. Almost a week later, I'm going to just show you one video right here from three months ago. I got it kind of queued up. 8.8. The and you say that's how God counts. That's how God by counts. Thousands. All through Scripture, he counts by thousands. Keep talking to the people. Ezekiel 47, he counted by thousands when he was measuring the Spirit out of the tabernacle of God. He blesses. There's something happens, and I could share you, I could sit here for five more programs and share you testimony after testimony after testimony of people who sowed a thousand dollar seed. God broke the spirit of debt, and they're now living in debt. So what must they do right now? Either sit down, write a check, put four quarters on a card, dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you have right now, but do something. Take action. You see, your need moves God's heart, but your seed moves God's heart. And hand. those that have the thousand, what, what, what do they do? You can put it on your debit card, credit card, whatever. You need to get that seed. The sooner you sow your seed, the sooner you're going to get your heart. Would you pray with them now? Yes. Here is another Benny Hinn program with Dan Willis called Absolute Truth. It's up right now on Sunday, September 8th. It was last Monday that Benny Hinn said he does not believe this stuff anymore. Listen to this guy. But if you're still with me right now, that means you don't just need a seed. You need a situation changed. Something with a child, something with a marriage, something in your church, something in your health, something in your future. A situation requires a sacrifice. That's why the Bible said, I will not offer to God that which did not cost me something. Anytime you need something dramatic changed in your life, a situation, it requires a sacrifice. But when you get that sacrifice, oh my heavens, on the altar. I I'm going to just call this the altar right now. And I'm going to ask, there are 100 people right now. God, I feel a boldness. I didn't even tell the camera people I was about to do this. I didn't tell the producers. There's a boldness in me right now. There are 100 people right now that are to pick up the phone immediately now, 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 now. Delayed response, it brings a denial of a miracle in your life. Don't worry about opinion. Don't worry about relative truth. I'm telling you to act on the word of God. Give and it shall be given. That's the absolute truth. There are 100 people right now that are right now, you're to pick up the phone and sow a $1,000 seed right Right now, right huh. now, I'm telling you there is a miracle about to show up. I heard the man of God say one day. Okay, so this is Dan Willis, the guy that Benny Hinn said he loves, loves him dearly, but don't teach that anymore. But the video is still up. Yeah, Benny Hinn really must care about not teaching this stuff, even though he's clearly okay with leaving up the video. Hmm. Here we are in April of this year and he's partnering with one of the slimiest people to ever walk the earth mike murdoch let's see what mike has to say my seed is the only evidence i've mastered greed what i sow has an instruction to it every time you sow a seed to god talk to that seed wow. give that seed an instruction and there's three things that happen and god spoke to me this the other day over the next 90 days, today God spoke to me about this ministry. What's going to happen to the 3,000? 
God spoke to me the other day and says, I'm going to bless you in real estate. The first place that you'll see God's reaction to this $1,000 seed is somewhere in your real estate. Think about that. And the second? The second is in romance. What? <laughs> romance. Never heard that one before. Never had it before. Just, just given to me. I said, Lord, why didn't you give me that years ago? <laughs> had never. But the love of God is going to be shed abroad in your heart. There's going to be marriages where there's been 25 years, 30 years, marriages coming apart. There's going to be a new aura, a fragrance of romance. The love of God's going to return to your home. This is a fortune teller, by the way. The love of God's going to return. Say it, say it. I receive the anointing for new romance. No means another wife. It doesn't mean another wife. It means restoration. You can't believe what's happened since we begin to speak that. All over the place. There's going to be people watching right now that's going to meet their wife in the next 90 days. That meet their easy. husband in the next 90 days. Just say it where you are. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. The third harvest, there's going to be somebody like a financial Boaz want to bless you. There's somebody been watching you right now. There's somebody listening to you. There's somebody observing your life, and they're going to bless you like you've never been blessed before. Let me say this fast and quick. And his sheep know your voice. Lord, your sheep know yes, your voice. Oh, this is such blasphemy. These guys are always taking money in. They talk about how important it is to give, but they don't give a penny. They want your money. Let's take a look at something else. I'm just going to do this randomly. This is actually kind of fun, isn't it? In a sick, twisted sort of way. Uh... Special sermon, he's here right now. Got the bad singing, got the... Oh, somebody fell over. Got the, for the, last got the uh, soft music playing. Please. When is this from? And I am. This is from... His people need it. August 28th. And they need what's happening to that guy over there, too. Let's, Not... let's see if he it's teaches. To get his word. And you walk in it and begin to expect miracles daily in your life, the change will happen suddenly. Never question the promises of God. Oh, I've been, listen, I've been experiencing such amazing, powerful moments with the Lord lately, and I don't want to miss praying for you, so please send me your prayer requests. You can do it by email to Pastor Benny at bennyhin.org. So simple. Pastor Benny at Benny.org or to the post office box on the screen right now there in Irving, Texas. So I can lay hands on it, okay? Because I love laying hands on your prayer request when you send it by letter. I also have a very special announcement for all you in ministry, but I want you to send an email to see what I'm talking about. I want to send you a special message, a special email. You in ministry, you can also send me the email to Pastor Benny and I'll send you what I'm talking about. One of the hallmarks of these ministries is the collection of data. They have to have data. They have to have emails. They used to, in the old days, had to have addresses. I'm sure now they, they still want street addresses, but emails are even more important. The bigger the mailing list, the more money they can make. It's really simple. I'm not going to tell you everything now. I'm going to wait till you send me the email, okay? You in ministry. Bye. So is seed to devils. Believe God for your finances. Trust Wait a minute, he just said sow a seed. I didn't think he believed that. This was just a few days before he made the big announcement that he was against this seed sowing teaching. This video is still up. Here it is, September the 8th. Uh, trust him. Trust him. You will never fail. Please watch this. This is your day for a million dollars for the work of the Lord. When I shared that with Pastor Benny at our church, when he was up visitors of this this great worldwide ministry, uh -huh. here today to talk to you about money matters and how important it is for us to be generous. You know, this may shock you. If I was to if I was to ask you, and I did this to my church, what is the number one topic? of the Bible from Genesis. It's not money. They always repeat that as if it were true and it's not true. Just to Revelation, what's the number one topic? I heard people say, well, love, faith, 
uh, forgiveness, mercy, hope. I said, no, it's finances. He's lying to you. You can research this yourself. The first time I heard it. When he says you can research this yourself, what he really is saying is don't research this yourself. Just trust me. My eyebrows raised and I had to research it. By f how important on knew that there was a special, a special anointing on this man, Benny Hinn. Now we call him Pastor Benny. And for years I've called him my friend. Let me, let me encourage you to share. I know money is hard earned. And I know times are tough, but ladies and gentlemen, we have got to get this gospel. I've never seen days this dark in my... Why don't you give the gospel instead of asking for money? That's what they do. They say, you've got to give us money so we can spread the gospel. But they don't spread the gospel. They just keep asking for money. I've, I've lived 71 years, and I've seen a lot of things. America is in trouble. There's only one answer. There's only one truth, and that's Jesus Christ and Pastor Benny preaches that like nobody else let me encourage you right now to write out a check use your credit card all the metrics all the whatever you need is on the screen so we have got to keep sending benny he's been to he's been to i don't know 80 90 countries and how many more he's going to go to and cities and states he's been to my church many times and it's amazing the people that respond to the to the the call of salvation through pastor benny's ministry so so right now I'm going to pray with you in Jesus' name. Lord, whatever you give, I'm going to pray the prayer of agreement. I have an anointing to do this, that whatever you give will come back to you. 30, yes, 60, perhaps, 100, I pray. Fold in Jesus' name. Why? There we go. We got the guarantee. You're broke. You only got 100 bucks left. Well, you'd be crazy not to give the 100 bucks because it'll be 30 times 100 or 60 times 100. This is like going to the racetrack knowing that you're going to pick the right horse every time. Hi. So that you can give again and live the life Jesus said he died. What? That we might have life and have it abundantly. Yep. So abundant life to this guy and to Benny Hinn and to all of his guests means having a lot more money. And how do you get a lot more money? Not by earning it. It's by taking whatever you've got giving it to Benny Hinn so that God can see your faith and then he can multiply it by whatever number they picked that week. This came out on August 28th. It was only a few days later that Benny Hinn announced that he does no long, he no longer wants to teach this. He knows it's wrong. He knows that it hurts people. And here it is a week, almost a week later, and he's still got it on his channel. Here we are again looking at the Benny Hinn ministry page on Sunday, September 8th. And here's a video not from three months ago. Here's one from just two weeks ago. Just two weeks ago. Still up. This is the... Pastor Benny Hinn sends right... Let's see if I've got the right one here. Oh, this is a different one. Let's just click, click. I haven't seen this yet, but... This is what you do. You go to the end of the video and you listen to the spiel. Steve Muncy. This is what God has done for me. Go to your phone because this is a historic moment. This is a day in which something incredible is about to happen in your life. Move to the phone now. Father, I'm just standing here. I got 20 seconds with this special person. And I know, God, that your word is true. And what you did for Job, you're going to do for them. $77. Go quickly now to the phone. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare, you are going to get back double what the enemy has stolen okay. from you. Okay. Thank you, Steve Muncy. If you give $77, you'll get it back. He declares it, blah, blah, blah. That wasn't the one I meant to click on. Hang on a second. Is it this one? Let's just see. Pastor Benny Hinn invites you to... No. I declare it. I feel no. it. I sense it. You Let's watch it anyway. Me. You are the person, and in Jesus' name, go to the phone now. We, As we go off the air, get to that phone. Because you are about to get back what you lost, $77. Okay. Go to the phone. Same spiel, different week. Um, 
There's another one that I, I had queued up here. I'll find it. They're all the same. So this is okay. Here we go. Be a television on this is your day. And the Bible said the king said, I'm going to give you your land back. Not only give you the desires of your heart. Go to the phone right now and say, <laughs> this is my offering. Because God is saying, you're great. Do that right now. Do that right now. August 30th. I sense someone giving $300. I sense someone giving $200. I sense right now that you must go to your phone because this is going to be the best day of your life. Go to the phone. So God can say, great. So you'll you be great if you give money to Benny Hinn's ministry, according to that clown, Steve Muncy, who is a incredibly slimy person i don't have time to go into that right now let's see here's one from the way these work is they usually have this um intro they have some bad singing mother died of stomach cancer he does a spiel with the audience out of me i'm scrolling here Oh, people are falling over. They go into the studio. Right through your body. Dear Jesus, I give you praise. I've given. Here's the prophet then said, just like I'm going to speak to you, to this ministry, because I perceive it is of God. Right now and say, this is my offering. Because God is saying, you're great. Yeah, this is, this is right the same. Now. Do that right now. The same click at the end of that program from just a week ago. That was literally put on the air, and it's still on the Benny Hinn website, even though Benny Hinn says that he does not teach this. He, he's completely changed. Yeah, th this is the most recent program with another guest. Late in life. Another money-grubbing televangelist, God. Dick Burnell. He said... Uh, after church came up, he goes, hey, Dick. He didn't even call me pastor. Hey, Dick. Uh, August Dick, 31st. Goes, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Can I, can I? On that, you Tommy Bar prayed for Tommy years ago, years ago. It's maybe at 12 million or something like that. And Tommy can tell us if I got it wrong, but it's close. Uh, and I remember Oral had me pray for all the trustees. I mean, Brother Copeland and all these. I was kind of embarrassed. I was like, oh, my gosh, these are huge ministries. Mm -hmm. But it's a gift that God gave me, and I'm releasing it to your partners and your friends that are watching right now and you're going to have the greatest financial but you always have to sow a seed gotta you sow always, a seed nothing, nothing happens till somebody says something somebody sows something nothing happens you got to say it you got to sow it you got to pray it i said it you prayed it now sow it to this wonderful ministry and let's win the world for christ amen amen, amen. and the number is on the screen right now call the number on the screen you can do it online so, so Benny Hinn has got a, just a ton of videos a week later. And don't tell me that it's not possible to remove these. I have a YouTube channel. I could remove all my videos in a matter of seconds. I could remove, well, it takes about 10 seconds to remove one video. So the whole thing could be removed within minutes. But they're all here. And it's all seed faith teachers. Let's just let's just grab something here and um, see if I'm wrong. Uh, the same shows. Here's one. Let's just grab this one from. This is supposed to be him teaching about the prophetic. Prophecy means to predict or foretell. He's talking Over. about his we prophetic stuff. He's got the audience, now he's got the studio. Fine. Sow it in pieces, but get to it and do it, and watch what God will do with your Father, I believe. Twelve months from today, that one watching this program will be out of debt in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's the same Amen. spiel. Now watch it, expect it, focus on it. It shall be done for sure. So, he removed two videos that I know of, the most recent two videos, but this tag ending to the program where he makes the seed faith teaching very clear, he and or a guest tell you that you need to send in money, you got to prove your faith so that God can turn around and bless you. He's got it all over his channel. Um, today's Sunday, 
Sunday evening. He said he didn't believe this stuff for the past year. He didn't say he just learned this last week. He said he's now going public last week. But he said he knew about this stuff for the past year. He knew it was wrong. Does this make sense to you? Or does this sound like a guy who's trying to retain his audience by telling them what they want to hear? I can just about guarantee you that after this past week, with all the positive publicity he's gotten, that this guy has just raised his donations a lot because he's starting to sound like he um, has changed his mind about all this teaching. But he doesn't seem to mind having all of this stuff still live. Now, he may remove it and he may give a, a, you know, tens of millions of dollars back. He may sell his belongings and give to the poor. That would actually mean something. But so far, all he's doing is he's just giving talks and propping, propping himself up, bragging about how close to God he is, talking about how much Bible reading he's doing. But the reality is it's all talk at this point.